What is going on, Big Sean Gamers? It is Benster, and today we're going to be ranking all of the Cold War Wonder Weapons, putting them in a little list. If you haven't already, leave a like, subscribe, all that cool nonsense. You know how this goes, man. I don't want to bug you. But yeah, I mean, if you subscribe to me, I'll shout you out. Yes, you the big homie. And if not, I'll come to your house and literally just give you a fat smooch. So on that, Gamers, let's get it. For number five, it's, it's definitely got to be... It's just got to be, you know, the right K. I mean, they did buff it recently, so it's not terrible. Honestly, all these wonder weapons are viable up to at least round 50, round 55, which isn't too bad. You know, wonder weapon lasting that long. It should last a little bit longer, but I mean, hey, it, it's just all right. You know, the only thing they really buffed with this recently was the actual grenade little vortex effect. It is about 100% extra more damage, so if you could land shots with that, you know, you're gonna be doing a lot more damage and you could you could even put this a little bit higher if you take that into whole consideration But for the overall weapon Personally, I'm just not a big fan of it. You know 50 clip really cool But the rate of fire is a little slow. The damage really isn't you know that great. It's good with ring of fire I mean all these wonder weapons are great with ring of fire, but them by themselves Especially this one not really holding up especially on those later rounds It's better to just use maybe a Hauer, a gallo m16 you know it just it just goes on and on but i think it's pretty understandable the rate of fire isn't really great and you know it does have some pretty good range but the main drawback of this weapon is overall the damage is just you know with an with an assault rifle it's supposed to have at least some sort of good moderate damage this sort of just meh after a while i believe even an xm4 tier 3 pack a punch is better than this thing tier 3 as well which is a little bit unfortunate it is a really cool and unique wonder weapon you know it really does everyone's been wanting a ray gun rifle for a very long time and unfortunately this is uh this is the weapon we got very uh very sad for our fourth weapon we have the dead thunder blast and this actually also got recently buffed and it actually you know, I would consider anything four and above on this list to be actually pretty good. I mean, technically, you know, when I play D Machine, I don't really just go for the die shockwave, but it is actually pretty fairly decent if you have Ring of Fire and you're doing a round 100, 200 strat. It will kill zombies fairly quickly, but with the recent buff for this weapon, you can actually pack a punch this now, get a little bit more ammo in the clip, more damage. I think it has a bigger blast, and also you can suck up zombies a little bit faster. Which, you know, is always nice because, you know, the sucking rate for this gun is uh, sucky. And overall, the weapon is, is actually pretty good. I mean, granted, the bolt doesn't go very far, but it is sort of like a shot. I, I don't know. The more I think about it with this gun, it's more of like a shotgun, like explosive blast, if that makes sense. And, you know, it is it is pretty good, but only having about, like I think, like six shots in the clip with 90 in the round. Granted, you know, you do have infinite ammo with this wonder weapon which is one of the best parts about it and you know considering that i mean you know if you have unlimited ammo for a wonder weapon that should be considered really good but you know the damage if you do have a giant crowd like i do have right now i you know you can see i'm shooting them but at the same time not all of them die and i nearly just die right there just because the weapon blast isn't very far and that's one of the downfalls of this weapon but i think that's it for about number four a little bit unfortunate but honestly let's get into number three look don't kill me as much as i love forsaken and the crystal axe axe it's got to be number three granted it is really good it's the most fun wonder weapon to play with in this game i enjoy it the most but statistically speaking after round 55 this weapon is hot garbage okay unfortunately the axe is really the main good part about it the bullet version of it is pretty all right you know but i i catch my sort of more using the axe version mainly because it gives me back armor and also it does give me uh health as well with the melee five not the axe itself but usually you know all of us players have tier five melee by this point the weapon is really good don't get me wrong it it, it does extremely well up until round 55 and then after that it drops off and unfortunately with round 55 that is the start of super sprinters and if you're double swiping on super sprinters when they're doing 75 damage per swipe this thing isn't really going to hold up. It's better to use other wonder weapons with Ring of Fire. And with the Crystal Axe, if you're using it with Ring of Fire, 
it's just not going to hold up but talking about the weapon alone i mean the rate of fire for this gun is that it, it's really good it's about at like 950 i believe and it has some really high damage just me with tier 2 pack a punch i'm cranking about 7,000 per headshot and this thing has a really big clip size and alongside with that rpm about 950 really really good and also one of the cool things about this wonder weapon it, it's a melee axe which you can throw we haven't seen anything like that before and that's what really makes this weapon unique it's a two-in-one package sort of like the Cerberus pistol which is something I think they kind of aspired from from this crystal axe from the you know Cerberus but I mean you know I really do enjoy it if it just lasted longer it would be my absolute you know number one spot it's my favorite wonder weapon in the game but unfortunately it just as soon as it hits round 55 it's just you know, you, you can't really use it, and that's really unfortunate. But let's get into number two. Now, in our number two spot, we have the ray gun. And, you know, actually, it does feel better now. I mean, with Ring of Fire and all that, it is still pretty good. But at about round 55 also, alongside with the Chris Lag, it starts to kind of drop off, and it's not really good. And I think we all kind of notice that. But if you slap on Ring of Fire, it's going to last longer just in general, which is you know that that's what really i'm just fighting for in this kind of ranking is because well a wonder weapon can be good it can be absolutely amazing but if it drops off it drops off you know there's not really much you can do about it and the ray gun is one of the weapons that tends to last a little bit longer and i've used this before in my round 100 strats and it always is there to help i mean it does have a pretty big clip of about 40 and it also has 160 in the reserves it's not 240 like it used to be but I mean, hey, I can't complain too much and look back on the past. The overall damage is pretty good. It used to be better. But I mean, I'm cracking out about, I don't know, 11,000 per shot with, you know, tier 2 Pack-A-Punch. That's pretty all right. Once you get to tier 3, I believe it's 18,000 or 16,000. So if you have 55,000 on the health cap, you know, three or four shots. I know it. it, it is pretty bad when you think about it, but mainly you're going to be using ring of fire which is one of the things about this but it just lasts a little bit longer that's why it is above the servers but personally i believe that the Cerberus is better don't butcher me okay i understand you might be freaking out because the Cerberus and you know all these other weapons are really good but it's just it's just the drop off i gotta i gotta be plain just no no opinionated facts about it, okay there's just strictly facts here okay the ray gun it is pretty good and also it is the most versatile within the maps you can find this on every map including outbreak besides firebase c which you know you have the ray gun rifle if you if you want to use that you can play it or if you want to play firebase c you know go for it go not bonkers but yeah ray gun number two on the spot and i think uh i think everyone could about agree with that one all right now we got the servers i think everyone can kind of agree with this this weapon lasts the longest and unfortunately it does have the same drop off at about round 55 same as the ray gun or i think the ray gun's a little bit higher in the same as also the other weapons but the thing about this weapon is number one all right it has extremely high damage it will carry you extremely high up until then also you're never gonna run out of ammo with this weapon like the shockwave this thing ultimately has unlimited ammo you're always gonna be picking up ammo drops variants it's it's the whole package is here if you want long range short range explosive range it's, it's all here in one freaking package and it comes as a sweet sexy pistol and this thing does super super well in terms of this map and it fits it very very well as well and if you slap on ring of fire this thing will literally carry you into the round 100 120 range area and it is really really good if you just know how to balance right and just obtain ring of fire as quickly as possible with like a war machine the cerberus is going to carry you as far as you possibly want just because it has so many variants which have additional damage outputs you know rate of fire differences more higher damage more range all that nonsense so realistically you're getting about four or five weapons inside one which mule kick could never do so i mean you know it is a really solid weapon i think we can all agree the rate of fire on this thing is actually really really good it feels like a submachine gun if you will and i really do enjoy it and it's really versatile and you run pretty fast with it with stamina up as well because well it's a pistol as well and you know you got to give a shout out to that little ball flying thing i mean that thing is basically double tap he does a really good job but hey gamers if you haven't already leave a like subscribe all the cool nonsense check out the links in the description and yeah if you made it so far you deserve a cookie and i love you but on that gamers i'll see you in the next one